Hey guys, it is Monday, March 15th. I have 25 eBay orders to ship out, but before I get started, I'm gonna let you guys know that I'm gonna do a March Madness tournament pool. Last year, there wasn't any March Madness because of the pandemic, but they're doing it this year, and the bracket was released yesterday. So if you wanna get in the tournament pool, it's totally free to enter. I'm gonna give a $150 Amazon gift card to the winner. I'll put a link down below in the description if you wanna enter the pool, and rules are just enter one bracket. Uh, don't enter more than one just to be fair to everybody. I'll be able to see, you know, like the email or name of whoever enters a bracket. So if there's one person that has more than one, then I'll be able to tell. I can't stop you from making multiple emails and doing it that way, but let's just do the honor system here and everybody put it in one bracket. All right, let's get to work. Got a few things going out that I sold outside of eBay. These are viewers that reached out to me um, wanting some of the stuff in my most recent purchases. Um, this, These war rations I just got, I think, Friday in that big paper ephemera buy, and then everything else I got in uh, that big $200 buy, or 150 I can't remember. The stuff I bought last week up in Wapakoneta. Um, first thing is all these World War II rations. These are going out to Dominic for $75 free shipping. Next is these three Snap-on mugs going out to Chris for $20 free shipping. This Mash Vodka Dispenser is going out to Kirk for $35 free shipping. Uh, Patty got this bike horn for $15 free shipping. And Steve got the big Eagle Ashtray for $25 free shipping. Dominic, Chris, Kirk, Patty, and Steve. Guys, thank you all so much for the support. I really appreciate it. Okay, we're shipping out some eBay orders now. I've got an order for three Toxic Crusaders figures. I've got, let's see, one in C51 and one in C41. Okay, this is the first one right here. He's called Radiation Ranger. And then I think this is the one. Yeah, C51. That is Dr. Kilimoff. And we've got one in E4, E41, I guess. Yeah, this guy. This one is Toxie. I think that's right. Same buyer. Got all three of these for forty-five ninety-seven free shipping. Next is a telephone. Right here. It is an amplified photo phone. Kind of neat. Put little pictures of family members and friends up there and it has uh, big numbers easier to dial I got this at a garage sale I paid five dollars for it sold for $14.99 plus shipping next is a PS3 controller right here this is part of that bulk buy I made last week this sold for $22.99 free shipping I sold a helicopter from Masters in the Universe right here got this a few months ago as part of a big toy buy it was incomplete it didn't have like the wings or anything so I wanted to do an auction because it was kind of hard to pinpoint a value. Started it at a dollar, it sold for $23.50 plus shipping. Next thing's down in C52. This is an Ogeo bag, new in the plastic. Kind of like a little travel kit, dop kit type thing. I got this from my guy Mike as part of a book buy. So I maybe got a couple dollars into it. That sold for $16.99 free shipping. Let's go ask if you're named Chris. Chris, thanks so much for the support. Hope you like the bag. Next thing I'm shipping out is a thermal heating mask. Up here in this box, I've still got, I don't know, 10, 15 of these things left. I got a bunch of them from my guy Mike, and these are part of the sale that I'm running. Well, let's see if I can dig one of them out of here. There we go. I think I originally had these priced $15, $20, or something like that, and with the discount, sold for $9.74 plus shipping. Next is a camera in E31. Right here, has a case and everything. It is a Nikon Coolpix. Well, there we go. Strap was caught on something. Icon Cool Picks. I think it's the L120. This was in that big bulk buy of stuff I got last week, and it sold for $34.99 for shipping. Next thing's a big duffel bag right up here. Let's move this cart out of the way. I got this from my guy Mike a few weeks back. It is a really nice leather bag. Let's see. The maker is Canyon. Yeah, Canyon Outback Leather Goods. And it has this Indiana Insurance Company logo in there. And if it didn't have that, I think uh, it would probably be worth $20 to $30 more. But with that logo, it sold for $34.99 plus shipping. Next is up here on E1. It's this big box right here. Let me see if I can get it down without breaking anything. 
All right, not too bad. Uh, this is also something I got from Mike. This is a Sony stereo with a couple of speakers. Has a uh, cassette player, uh, CD player, AM, FM, all that good stuff. That sold for $59.99 plus shipping. All right, I'm gonna take a break from packing orders and answer a couple of viewer questions. First is from Danielle Hughes. She asks, hey John, just curious, have you ever had any dramas when getting boxes from store owners and how do you handle that? Um, so she's talking about pulling boxes out of dumpsters, which is where I get the majority of my boxes. And I've never had any issues. Um, occasionally, you know, an employee will pop out the back door and they'll see me and I'll just say like, hey, do you care if I take some boxes? And they never ever care. I've had one run in with store employees when I was pulling something out of their regular dumpster. It was a Bye Bye Baby store. This has been a while ago, like a year, I think. And they had thrown away like a stroller in the box and some other stuff that was in the box. And this lady like pulls up and she's like, you can't, you know, you can't take this stuff out of the dumpster. And it was really obvious what they were doing. They were like taking the returns that were like sort of damaged and throwing them away and then coming back and getting them later, I guess after like the store camera, like it was dark and they couldn't be identified. It was really sketchy what they were doing. I actually recorded the whole thing. Like she like called the cops and I was like, you can call the cops. I don't care. I'm not doing anything wrong. Cause you know, I'm not stealing. It's in the dumpster. So I didn't get in trouble, but the video is kind of funny. If you guys want to watch it, I'll put a link down below in the description. All right, next is from Joseph Amelie. When you do local pickup, how would you prove the buyer received the item if they decide to open a case saying item never received? With shipping, at least you have the documentation that the item was delivered. I'm pretty conscious about scams. Okay, so eBay actually added a feature. I think it's been a couple years now that they've had this. And when you have, when you select local pickup as an option and somebody buys it and they want to pick it up, um, they give that buyer a code. It's like this little like scannable code. And when you go to give it to them, you go into your app and you, you know, click that it's marked as, you know, shipped or dropped off or whatever. And you can get that code from them. I think instead of scanning, you can manually enter it too. So that's an option. If you do any kind of local pickup, just remember you got to put that code in. All right, back to shipping. We've got a, um, digital analog box right up here. I just got this last week and I was telling you guys to keep an eye out for these. So you can usually find them pretty cheap and they're good sellers. Um, this one was complete with the box, never been used. That sold for $24.99 plus shipping. Your name Ken got that converter box. He says, hey John, long time viewer and subscriber. Wanted to give my thanks for your awesome videos. It really motivates me to get my butt up and keep listing items even though I'd rather be napping. I would always rather be napping. I would appreciate a mention of my eBay store, Melanie Joy, and a couple stickers, if at all possible. Thanks again for all you do. Ken, thanks so much for your business. I'll definitely throw in some stickers for you. Okay, next order has two items. First is a Rusty Wallace car. It says it's E2. I think it's this one right here. This sold for $14.99 plus shipping. And next is an E42. It is an old Astromatic pen and pencil set right here and it sold for $14.99 free shipping. Viewers Felix and Gladys got that stuff. Guys, thank you both so much for the support. Next thing going out is a Funko Pop right here. Gin from the Dark Crystal. I got this maybe a month ago as part of a bulk buy. I've got about $5 into it. That sold for $17.99 plus shipping. I sold a glove in, let's see, I guess C41. It was a little inventory code that said C3. This is a Dudley brand. I think this might be the first Dudley I've ever sold. It's not a very common glove. Uh, this is a first base mitt. Really quick way for you guys to tell a first base mitt apart from a catcher's mitt. Um, usually the model number will say something like FB. So um, this model number DSG, it's Dudley Sporting Goods, first base one. That's what they're going for with, that, with those letters. Uh, and secondly, a catcher's mitt is usually like kind of a perfect circle if it's all the way opened up. And a first base mitt is going to be like flat on one side and like a half circle on the other so that the first base mitt can actually scoop the ball. So that's how you tell that. That one sold for $29.99 plus shipping. Next thing is a set of mugs. Over here in A8, I already have them in a box because I didn't want them flanking around and getting broken or anything. These are kind of unusual. I usually don't mess too much with mugs, but these are kind of neat. I thought they'd have some value. It's some hunting dogs and a horse. Just has a really cool scenery to it. These are called Marudimo wear. I might be mispronouncing it, but you can see it down there on the bottom. The pair of these sold for $24.99 plus shipping. Next thing is a Boston Red Sox hat. All my 
baseball hats are starting to sell now that the season's getting underway. Uh, this isn't new, but it's in pretty clean, good condition. That sold for $14.99 plus shipping. Next thing is a set of compression shorts. Once again, old inventory code said C1, but I think I see them right here. I got these at a garage sale last year. They're new with the tags. I think they're made for lacrosse, but you could use them for other sports too. It's a boy small, so I think that's what took them so long to sell. These sold for $34.99 plus shipping. I sold another baseball glove. Let's see. Right here, it is a Louisville Slugger. I want to say I had this listed around $15 or so. Not Nothing, you know, really special. Um, somebody offered me $12 plus shipping, and I accepted. Next sale is a really cool one. It's over here in A31. Let's see. It is in this bag right here. I just picked this up last week with all that paper ephemera. This is an old catalog or brochure for the Cincinnati Zoo and Botanical Garden. Really cool look to it. I had to pay up. I paid 40 bucks for this. Couldn't find any comps at all, so I listed it like $200 or best offer. Somebody offered me $75. I countered with $125, and then they came back with $95 free shipping, and I accepted. Next thing is a Chevy Corvette right over here. Let's see. I got two red ones. I want to make sure I pull the right one. This one's 97 and this one is 98 so I'm almost positive it is this one the Barago 1997 model yep that's the one got this uh, from an online auction I guess it's been two three weeks ago now I've got right around 10 15 dollars into this one I sold for $24.99 plus shipping sold a wireless mouse from Logitech uh, right down here this is part of that big bulk buy of stuff I got Last week in Wampakoneta has the uh, base charging station, the little dongle and everything. That sold for $49.99 plus shipping. Next thing's over on B2. It is this realistic audio tape eraser. Something different. I've never actually come across one of these. That sold for $24.99 plus shipping. Next thing is over on the D rack. Let's see. It's an old code that says D1. So it is probably right down here. Yeah. I've had this for quite some time. This is a pewter longer burger tray. I've maybe had it about a year. I was actually hitting garage sales with my dad last year, and he noticed this and pointed it out to me, and they only wanted like one or two dollars for it. Since it's longer burger, um, has a little bit of value, nothing crazy. I think I had it listed for like twenty dollars. Somebody sent me an offer of twelve dollars plus shipping, and I accepted. Sold some more paper ephemera. I keep having to move this cart back and forth out of the way. Uh, let's see. It's right here in this folder so let's open this up and pull it out so you guys can get a look at it this is a 1967 starcraft catalog just has some really cool pictures in here look at that take your boat right up to the golf course i got this from my guy mike a couple months ago with some other uh, ephemera that sold for 24.99 free shipping next we're going over to 841 I sold this Pittsburgh Steelers hat. Uh, this is from Sports Specialties. Has that shadowing into it, so I put shadow in the title. Got this from uh, Danny of the Pickle Resellers. That sold for $29.99 plus shipping. Let's go on to viewer. They didn't leave their name. It says the Holly Picker, H-O-L-I. I'm not sure if that's Holly or Holy, but they're in California, so I'm thinking maybe Holly is short for Hollister. Possibly. I really don't know. Anyways, they say, hey, John, thanks for all you do. I've learned so much from you. Keep up the great work, the Holly Picker. Holly Picker, thank you so much for the support. I hope you like that hat. All right, last thing we're shipping out is a big one. Last time I have to move this cart. This is the um, AccuTouch Pro Sight that I just got in that big hunting buy. It's not new, but it does have the packaging, and it's really clean. This sold for $269.99 plus shipping. And that is it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.